Welcome to Redeeming the Time with Carol Marie. Redeeming the Time is a series of purpose-filled insights for you to redeem God's time with fresh revelation from the Lord. Stay tuned for today's message. Hello, welcome to Redeeming the Time. We appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us today. My name is Carrie Dugan, and I am the ministry coordinator for Anna's Gate and for Dr. Carol Marie. And Dr. Carol Marie is on vacation this week, so we have a special guest speaker for everyone. And we have a live studio audience, so clap, live studio audience. And if those are watching, please feel free to become part of our live studio audience. We film on Tuesday afternoons at Anna's Gate. Uh, we start at 4.30 usually. We have worship at 3.45 to about 4.15, so please come and join us. We'd love to have you. Our special guest today is uh, Teresa Smith, who's the director of Greater Grace Ministries. Yeah. It's a ministry founded here locally yeah. in Knoxville that helps uh, human sex trafficking victims. Yeah. So praise God for calling yeah. her into that. Mm-hmm. She's also a Stephen minister and a um, Stephen leader with the Stephen Ministry Program at Park West Church. She has served in our local church for over 20 years and held various titles over the past 30 years, so this woman is well-equipped. Mm-hmm. You will enjoy her. She is, she's got a plethora of knowledge in the Word of God, and she's going to be bringing a powerful word for us today. So please join me in welcoming Ms. Teresa Smith. Yeah. Uh, the Bible has much to say about keys. They often are used symbolically, and they represent authority. We're going to talk today about the keys to the kingdom. And we're going to talk about how effective are our keys that he's already given us. Amen? Amen. Keys do what? They give us access to something. They either open the door, the cage, the vault. We're going somewhere with those keys, aren't we? But we have keys to the kingdom that he's given us. Already. Amen? Amen. Amen. I uh, did a, a study, and I won't say it was exhausted, but <laughs> it exhausted me. How about that? <laughs> let, me, let me read this to you. Anciently, when one came to seek the king's help or the king's counsel, the servant, the king's servant, he wore the keys on his shoulders. And he had the access to go wherever He needs to go within the king's castle. But you had to go to the servant. You get that? Yes. And we are what? His servants. We have the access. We have the keys to access heaven for others. Amen? Amen? Amen. The key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulders. So he shall open and no one can shut. And he shall shut and no one could open. That's found in Isaiah 22, 22. Isaiah 9, 6 says, For unto us the child is born, unto us the son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Commentary says, He alone is the source of eternal life, the Mighty God, Benevolent Ruler, bringing eternal peace on the earth through the establishment of his kingdom. Thus, the obscure figure of Emmanuel is now brought to clear light. He himself is God incarnate. The Bible is a road map to Christ. All roads lead to the Savior. Amen. Amen. Access to to the king's presence. Let me read you a, a few scriptures. Psalms 24, verses 3 and 4. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, and have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Amen. Psalms 145, 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Hebrews 7 and 9, 19. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of the better hope, but which we draw nigh unto God. Amen? Amen. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, 
and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's yes. Hebrews yes. 11 and 6. James 4, 8, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Our access through Christ is found in John 14 and 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come unto me, come unto the Father, but by me. Amen. Romans 5, 2. But whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory. Ephesians 2, 18. We have access to God. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Amen? Amen. There's one uh, I found in the Message Bible, and it, and it reads like this. 1 Corinthians 4, 8. You already have all you need. Yes. You already have more access to God than you can handle. Yes. Galatians 4, 6, and 7 says... You can tell for sure that now you are fully adopted as his own children because God sent the spirit of his son into our lives. Doesn't that privilege give you an intimate conversation with God? Make it plain that you are not a slave, but a child. Ephesians 2.18, he treated us as equals and so made us equals. Through him we both share the same spirit and have equal access to the Father. And if you are a child, you are also an heir with complete access to the inheritance. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hebrews 4.14 Now that we know we have Jesus, our great high priest, with ready access to God, let's not let it slip through our fingers. We don't have a priest who is out of touch with our reality. Right. He's been through weakness and testing. Experienced it all, but not the sin. Right. So let's walk right up to him and get what he's all ready to give us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Take the mercy, accept the help. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the purpose of the keys? What do they do? They give us entry. Yes. to whatever we need mm -hmm. access yes. uh -huh. there are two worlds there's a physical world and there's an invisible realm but we need to draw from the spiritual world and that's what we don't see but we have access by the spirit amen, amen. and the resource and the resources that the armor of God to fight the natural world I know we, we wrestle not with flesh and blood we all know that. Mm -hmm. But our battle is not natural. Right. It's spiritual. Yes. Yes. And we need to adorn ourselves with what he's already gifted us with. Mm -hmm. To wage war against the enemy of our souls. Mm -hmm. There's a people. There's a world. There's a family. Family member, I might say. Amen. And we need to be waging war against the enemy. Amen. Because we have free access already. Amen. For them. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I reiterate, generally speaking, keys serve two purposes. To lock and to unlock. Amen. Doors, gates, safes, cages, vaults. Keys to the kingdom likewise lock and unlock things pertaining to the realm of the spirit. It is only by and through the keys of the kingdom that spiritual prisons can be opened. The kingdom itself must be opened with these keys. Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Amen. Amen. What are the keys? His word. Yes. He spoke, and the worlds were framed. Light be, and there was light. Mm -hmm. His name. There are so many facets to the name of God. It's a key. We have dominion 
Dominion is a key. His spirit, the Holy Spirit, is a key. His blood is a key. Amen. It's power and authority. He's given it to us. It's a key. Yes. We have faith. Faith is a key. Yes. The key symbolizes the gifts that God has given us. They symbolize the authority we have in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. The dominion over all the earth and everything to use with confidence and boldness to glorify God and to spread the gospel. Since the beginning of time, the Father who created all has always made a way for man to have access. Man is the only one made in the image of God and reproducing in that image. The terms and image of God, the likeness, is synonymously, let me say it this way, man's spiritual resemblance, we ought to be resembling who? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Our maker. Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve fell in the garden, go with me to verse 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord calling, walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? God always seeks out man in a sense that he solicits a response from his creation that has been separated by sin. Amen. That's powerful. Yes. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. In verse 11, we have the blame shifting. That's the trait of fallen man, but we won't talk about that. Verse 21, unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make coats of skins and clothe them. The word skins presupposes the death of an animal and therefore the idea of a blood sacrifice. Yes. Yes. Let's just say maybe a lamb. Mm -hmm. Death was the price so that an innocent lamb was slain, blood was shed. God was bound to his word. God said in Genesis 3, 3, you shall not eat, nor shall you touch, lest you die. And he made a way in the garden, yes. the first death. Jump with me 430 years to the book of Exodus. The book serves as a beautiful type of the sinner's redemption from the bondage of sin. Amen. God is presented in several roles in the book. He's the one who controls history. He's pictured as the great I am. He is the holy God. Amen. He is the God who remembers. He is the God who acts in salvation. He is the God who acts in judgment. He is the God whose anger may be averted. He is the God who speaks. He is the God who is transcendent. He is the God who lives among his people. In chapter 12, the Lord instituted Passover. What did Passover do? It gave us access. Mm -hmm. Today, that same blood that was put on as a Passover, we put that blood on our heart. Yes. Not on a doorpost. Come on, come on, stood. It's on our heart. We are covered. Yes. We need to apply it. Yes. 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 See, the enemy has us bound, and I'm going to speak to me. He tries. With things, circumstances of life, they come. It's a part of being in this fallen world that yes. we live. Yes. But God, God. and His blood. Right. has come yeah. to deliver us, yeah. to set us free. Yeah. Yeah. That we can walk. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we just don't go by ourselves. There's others that we're supposed to take along with us. Yeah. But he has us so bound up and we're listening to the lies of the enemy. Yeah. They are lies. Yeah. Lies. Yeah. Lies. Yeah. And we need to cast it down yeah. because we've yeah. been washed by the blood. Yeah. We've been cleansed. Yeah. We've been purified. Yeah. And we've been sanctified by the Lord. Amen. To raise up, Amen. wear ourselves up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And 
Hallelujah, the New Testament. Woo, glory to God. And he even sent him as a babe. Yes. Access. Hallelujah. I love John's introduction to Christ. He says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. There was a lamb. His name was Jesus. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness. And when we see him, there was no beauty that we should desire of him. He is despised and he was rejected by men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised. And we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. All we like sheep have gone astray, have we turned every one to his own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. Where are the keys to the kingdom of heaven? Were they only given to Simon Peter? No. Jesus gives those to those who make the confession of faith. Yes. Those who know Christ as Savior. If you are a child of God, you have the keys. Yes. The keys were the badge of authority of the office to the scribes who interpreted the scriptures to the people. Every Christian today has the scriptures and therefore the keys. If we withhold the word, we bind on earth. If we give the word, we loose on earth. No man or individual church has the keys to the exclusion of all other believers. We have a responsibility today to give out the gospel because it's the only thing that can save people. This is a tremendous revelation. Who is sufficient for these things? You and I have a responsibility indeed. Amen. Stop giving your power over to the enemy. Amen. We allow the enemy to yoke us with burdens and cares. Yes. We even, it's like a cloak he puts on us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. And we need to slip that thing yes. off. Yes. 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 Slip it off. Pull up our tent stakes, see, because we're passing through. Yes. This place is not our home. Yes. We're on a journey. Yes. Amen? Amen. Slip it off. We're going somewhere. We better take some with us. Amen? And when he comes, we have all authority, all the keys that we need to pull down every lie, every stronghold. Every stronghold. Already finished. It's bought and it's paid for. God do we so oppressed and depressed? Come on. Why? Right. Body of Christ, why? Amen. Hey, I'm talking to me. Preach. I'm talking to me because I've been there. Yeah. And I may visit again, but I'm not staying. Yeah. I'm holding on my yeah. mistakes. Amen. Yeah. I'm holding on. Amen. Yeah. Because I've been cleansed and washed, blood bought. Yeah. Christ is paid in full. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to read this. Um, the atonement and the total price have been paid, and the veil was rent in twain. And it is the use of the word by the anointing of God's spirit that enables us to use the keys to the kingdom. Amen. Use of the keys to the kingdom is, 
Simply the Holy Spirit using His Word in various aspects of manifestation for salvation, mm -hmm. healing, and deliverance. Amen. It is when the church uses these keys that it is invincible. Amen. Amen. Jesus said that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Amen. Ladies, uh, not too long ago, the Lord said to me, our keys are about as effective as these. Amen. What are we going to do with this? Right. What can we do with this? Ooh, these are for babes. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. They know yeah. them when they're teething. That's right. That yeah. was yeah. it. They can do nothing. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but this. Yeah. It's all we need. Right. Amen? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Woo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I just Hallelujah. want to give you some of these. The God that gives up, given, has given us access, His name is Elohim. He's our creator. Yes. Yes. His name is Jehovah. He's the self-existing one. Yes. Yes. His name is Adonai, yes. Lord and Master. His name is El Elyon. He is the Most High God. Amen. Woo! He is Jehovah Jireh. He's our provider. He is El Shaddai. Almighty God. Hallelujah. He is the only begotten. He is our counselor. He is the Lamb of God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Messiah. He's the author and the finisher. He is the Son of Man. He is the true God. He is the door. He is living water. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. How long are we going to lay down? Yeah. And let the devil walk on us. Come on. Hallelujah. We keep saying, we keep asking for the same things. Hallelujah. But the Lord is saying, obey what I've already told you to do. Obey what I've already spoken. Get busy with what I've already said to do. I've already given you what you yeah. need. Come on. I sent my son. Oh. What else do you need? Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else. Yeah. Right. Glory. We got do what you were called to do. Yeah. Yeah. What he's yeah. equipped you to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit yeah. in your yeah. Yeah. so that he can fill you. That's the equipping that you need yeah. Yeah. to walk in this world. Yeah. The Lord has given to us everything we need to wage war against the enemy of our soul. No longer should we, the body of Christ, be pressed down, oppressed, depressed, Amen. under a weight of bondage of the sins that so easily beset us. Lies. Even those things that have happened, the circumstances of life that have pressed in on us. We have a covenant. <laughs> We've got a blood covenant with the creator of the universe who has made a way, who has given us access to him yes. by his name by his blood we've been bought and we've been paid for yes. hallelujah hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah all we have to do is say jesus yes. hallelujah and demons true right. hallelujah sickness has to flee Come on. hallelujah no. Woo, it has to go yeah. hallelujah. hallelujah I'm going to tell you this wouldn't part of my going here but the enemy's been trying to put stuff on me for years but God yeah. you hear me? Yeah. but God yeah. hallelujah A few, several years ago uh, I had gone to the doctor and uh, you know there's a, a history of uh, cancer in the women in my family but I said, no, no you don't. Man, not no. this vessel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is the temple of the living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not trespass no. against Amen. my temple. Amen. Hello? Amen. 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 And so I went to the doctor, and uh, there's some uh, sexual abuse in my, in my past. 
Hallelujah. Yes, praise God. That's why God gifted me mm -hmm. to go and yes. rescue yes. Yes. victims of human yes. trafficking. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because yes. I understand yes. it right. to a degree. Yes. But I have a heart. He taught me to care. He used those things yes. that the enemy yes. meant to destroy yes. him. Yes. Yes. But God. Yes. So I went to the doctor and I uh, had no idea she was running this test. And, uh, you know, I've been married a long time. <laughs> so, but it's even longer now. <laughs> I have, my husband is a blessing, and God knew what I needed. Yes, yes. praise God. And uh, the doctor, she tested me, and uh, she said, uh, she didn't tell me that day, but she called me. We were about to go on a women's retreat, and she called. And uh, she said, Teresa, I ran this test. She didn't tell me she ran it. And uh, it was called uh, uh, HPV, page HPV, mm -hmm. human papillomavirus. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. about? I've been married for. What are you talking? You know, yeah. and I, I let her go on, and she said, she said normally you have to take medicine for the rest of your life right. when that when that happens to you. Mm -hmm. She said we ran your test. I was running a test for that. And uh, she said, but you know what? It showed that you had that, but we found no signs of it. We have a covenant with the creator of the universe mm -hmm. who has made a way, yes. who's given us access to him by his name, by his blood, by his blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no other name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who has access? Who did he create in his image so that we, he would, we would be like him? Mm -hmm. So let's stand with the keys of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. The word of God, the spirit of God that resides in us, the name of God. For we wrestle not with flesh and blood, right. but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. We can dethrone them. Yes. And in the name of Jesus and by the blood, yes. hallelujah, yes. we stand in a place of authority that only yes. we, being in his image, can stand. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It is high time for us to awaken to our position of authority and with all the access that we've been given. Yes. Jesus said, the gates of hell yeah. shall not prevail on. against the church. Yes. We are the church. Amen. 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 Carol Marie. We'd like to encourage you to visit annasgate.org for more information. We pray that this message has been a blessing to you. There is an awakening taking place and it's exploding around the body of Christ.